Texas law requires public schools to display in God we trust donated signs. In another attack on American secularism and public what? education. That can be Unfortunately, right. Unfortunately, yes. This cannot okay. be right. What the fuck? This is real. Okay. Alarm is quickly growing over a recent push to force religious displays in public in Texas public schools. Senate Bill 797 requires Texas public schools to display donated in God We Trust posters. The law was signed by Republican Governor Greg Abbott in June of 2021 and went into effect the following September, but did not get that much attention because most school districts were not practicing in-person classes due to the pandemic at the time. The law is very specific, requiring the public schools and colleges only display donated signs or, quote, purchased from public donations and must be displayed in a conspicuous place. Texas-based cell phone company, for example, Patriot Mobile, which donates a portion of customers' phone bills to conservative Christian causes, donated several In God We Trust signs. Quote, we are honored to be a part of bringing God back into our public schools, the company exclaimed in a Facebook post. Secular activist Chaz Stevens is fighting back creatively. He plans on donating posters to the schools around the state, but in Arabic. This cleverly plays on the fact that God in Arabic translates to Allah, which may make Christian conservatives realize the consequences of their actions. As far as he can tell, there is no English-only requirement in the law. His GoFundMe page says that they will display, print, deliver, and donate 500-plus po posters in various languages, including Hindi, Gay Pride, meaning rainbow, a rainbow version, <laughs> Spanish, Vulcan, Klingon, and others. Steven says Brilliant. that if the campuses refuse to display his donations, he will file a lawsuit and use the court case to challenge the statute. What a brilliant response because I would like you can't like do you can't do the satanic temple on this one because it has to be God, right? Yeah. That but amazing. You have pictures you want and this is a picture of it. Well, th that's an update. Okay, so okay. this is an update that just happened like yesterday. And so there was this guy who um, actually, okay, I want to give a strong shout out. Wait, I need to pull up his name one second. Um, He's upside down. He, he, yeah, I know. He went to a school meeting and took some of Chaz's signs and was like, okay, I have the signs that I want to display. So here you can display them. And they refused him. They refused him and they tried to shut him down during this meeting before his time. Because, you know, in these like school meetings, you're allotted like five minutes, three minutes, whatever to say. And they tried to shut him down before his time was over. He's like, nope, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it my time, blah, blah, blah. So this man, his name is, um, wait, where is it? I want to give him a proper shout out. Oh my God. So the title, the title says Texas School Board rejects in God we trust Arabic signs. Why? The law says that you have to put in, in God we trust. He's just obeying the law. And it doesn't specify that it has to be in, Eng in English. Okay. So why, this why guy, is this not? Um, yeah. Sravan Krishna. Shout out to Sravan Krishna. Okay. He's in there yeah. and he's like, I want you to display this Arabic Allah freaking gay ass and God we trust sign. Okay. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. Krishna wants to put Allah in Texas schools. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I, yeah so the, he rejected the them one. under mm -hmm. the they're like oh we have enough thank you and he said no i'm not leaving if you mm -hmm. like i'm gonna say what i have to say and if you're not gonna let me say what i have to say i'm gonna just hold these signs for the remainder of my time yeah the board member responded by saying they already had sufficient signs at all 11 campuses and they did not want to overwhelm the schools with donations he said, you do not have one square foot of space left in our buildings. Come on. That's both. Yeah. Yeah. This is like so revealing. Like, you know, these people are like anti, you know, they're racist and anti-immigrant and stuff. But to show like, like you would think like for the sake of like appearance, they would be like, sure, whatever, put it up. Right. But they're so sensitive towards I mean, it just says in Arabic, in God we trust. But there's, like, there's xenophobia. It's so strong 
that they just can't bring themselves up to putting up a sign, even for appearance sake. That's like high degree of xenophobia. <laughs> oh my God, these people. And this is Texas it's so water. bald faced. It's ridiculous. And I also love that they do in God we trust, but they make it as gay as possible because they know that's a huge problem for them. Yeah. They're like, what? God created the rainbow. Can we not put the yeah, yeah. can we not have God in rainbow? He created it. It's a, it's his promise to mankind to not genocide us again. Come on, man, let us have the rainbow. I love how we made religious people sensitive to the rainbow. Oh, by the way, Darko just uh, gifted five Atheist Republic memberships. Five. Oh my goodness, who, thank you. Darko. Who got it? Who, who's a member now? Um, oh, human, human rights of atheists and agnostics. No, no, not you. I don't know who got the, who got the memberships. Well, thank you so much, Darko, for donating yeah, to people. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. So... I really hope that this is legally contested, especially the blatant discrimination of the kinds of signs, because there's no stipulation in the law about how that sign should be presented. This is obviously a huge problem. Um, once again, shouts out to Krishna. Love this guy. You're doing good work. Um, yes. Great job, I saying, but why hold them upside down? It was probably just a mistake. Um, no, I think, I, think and, I mean, his, his name is Krishna, so he doesn't speak Arabic, so I don't... I mean, maybe he doesn't. No, it's know very that he's clearly from... upside down. Like the American flag. Oh yeah, flag because of the U.S. Down. flag. It's, yeah, yeah. It's almost. Ex I almost. Well, you can't see it. A mistake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Chaz Stevens, who is the activist behind this campaign. Um, he lives in Florida, and we've covered his work before because he's using the anti-critical race theory um, laws in Florida to try to get the Bible banned in Florida. Again, pointing out how ridiculous it is. And he's also the guy that got a um, Festivus pole made out of Paps beer cans displayed in the state capitol because they were displaying nativity scenes. <laughs> he's like, if you're going to have a nativity scene, I'm going to have my, <laughs> my Festivus pole made out of beer cans also proudly displayed. Thank you very <laughs> much. So I love Chaz. He's super humorous. And I think his actions, because it's very... Um, Pointing out these things with humor is such a good way to show how ridiculous it is, but also not alienate people too much at the same time, you know, to like get people to still kind of like appreciate, highlight why these things are like um, hip, hip, full of hypocrisy in its own way. Um, I, 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 re I really like this guy. Um, so I really hope that, you know, okay, wait, oh, <gasps> Armin, I almost forgot something so important. Okay. What? So, so we clearly have a big problem with this in God we trust thing, right? Yes. For obvious reasons. Guess who came out in support of it? Full throated support of it. Who? The Council for American Islamic Relations. Why? Care. What? Care came out in in full support of this in God we trust push. Why? They're trying because to they build them with them. This is gonna this is gonna like open a conversation about children's beliefs and the gods that they believe in. This se just seems like a monotheistic supremacy kind of thing, to be honest. Um yeah, and they the say Christians this despite the fact that there cares own reports that Muslim children in Texas experience a disordinate amount of bullying. I think this is part of a bigger trend, okay? I think this is Christians and Muslims more realizing more and more that the real threat to their way of life is liberalism, okay? And they just need to, you know, get together and unite against us. I think that's what the, I think that's what it is. And like they're like they're trying to signal to conservative Christians in the United States that we're on the God side as well. Like, look at us. This is like, we have these values as well. So let's just hold hands and be conservative together. I think they're trying to convince, like this is a major signal, a virtue signal to, uh, to Christian conservative, like that Muslim conservatives are not against you. I think so, maybe. I mean, care is not considered to be conservative by a lot of really conservative Muslims, 
uh, but relatively to Christians, they are conservative. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.